<clears throat> Alright. <clears throat> okay, welcome back everybody to the Wheel of Names. We're almost down to the last ten here out of all out of the list here, so let's go ahead and spin the wheel and see what car I land on next. Here we go. Hmm? Okay. We got the uh what is it, my Batsu Vincent? I think it's a disc it's 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 the it's the Mitsubishi Galant. Okay. Alright. Excellent. Two thousand and seven, my Batsu Vincent. One of the few cars made by my Batsu in the GTA franchise, and probably one of my favorites. I love the design, love the handling, and well, just everything. Everything about it. Well then, without further ado, let's get right into it. Two thousand and seven, my Batsu Vincent. Violently quick. No, really. That's what the in-game advertisement says. Well, in-game billboard or whatever. The Vincent is a car I remember fondly from the game. It also handled really good and decently quick for for what it was, and it was fun to run from the cops when I was in online multiplayer. But that was then, and this is now. With clear eyes, does the car still hold up? Let's find out. The Vincent was first introduced in GT San Andreas and more or less resembled a BMW 518i from the early 90s with some other influences from Volkswagen and Mercedes. Its modern GT4 equivalent is based on the 8th generation Mitsubishi Galant. The 8th generation Mitsubishi Galant was produced from 1998 until 2003. Well, at least here in the States anyway. It was only offered as a four-door sedan here but if you lived in Europe, you could get it as a five-door wagon known as the Legnum. God, what a freaking weird name. Mitsubishi offered a multitude of engines for the Gaunt, including a 1.8, all the way up to a 2.4 liter four-cylinder, and in the legendary VR4, they were offered the 2.5 liter twin-turbo V6, making the absolute limit allowed by the Japanese government, or the gentleman's agreement I guess you call it which was 276 horsepower now I'm pretty sure you can make it up make it more if you like detuned or whatever but that's basically what it's all to and of course here in the stage if you got the top trim GTZ trim you got a 3.0 liter V6 making only 195 horsepower because we're Americans and we don't get anything good so thanks thanks a lot and of course this is a Japanese car you also got a 2.0 liter turbo diesel because of course you did of course you did it's a Japanese car so yeah powertrain included a 4 and 5 speed automatic and of course a 5 speed manual what about the Vincent though how does it compare under the hood we have a longitudinally mounted double overhead cam 16 valve inline 4 only 16 Damn, my F22 and D16 had that same number of valves. Now, I actually used to think this car was real-wheel drive, but no, I actually discovered it was all-wheel drive like the VR4. It's a split ratio of 40 in the front and 60 in the rear. That would explain why it has excellent handling. Comfortable to a five-speed gearbox, this car is decently quick for what it is, and it's mostly due to the all-wheel drive layout. So, how's the car handle? Well, <laughs> I was going to say, gee, not a lot of body or oversteer for a car that's real-wheel drive, but uh, now I know why. The car handles great, thanks to its all-wheel drive layout, little body roll, and stiff front suspension. It's a thing I've come to expect from my Batsu. They make great bikes, and they make great cars, and the Vincent is no exception. Bit of a weird name, though. Doesn't really fit the car. It kind of feels soft. Not something cool like... Akuma, Fudo, 
or what's the compact? Don't let the name fool you though. Or the looks. Don't let the don't let the name or the looks fool you though. The Vincent isn't the fastest sedan in the game, but it's the most well-rounded one in the game. Well, there you have it, folks. 2007 my Batsu Vincent. I gotta say. I do like this car. I love the looks of the car. I love the handling of the car, and, and I remember just having lots of fun uh, with this car in the game. Uh, and now that I know it's all-wheel drive, that doesn't explain why the handling is so good. So yeah, I give it a, I give it a it's solid nine out of ten. So, many folks, there you have it. And my Bachi Vincent. We're almost done with this series. I'm thinking um, after I finish all the GT4 cars, I might take a break from this stuff. Because uh, I'm getting a little bit burnt out on the reviews. At least the review anyway. Not, not, not the other videos, I guess. Maybe could I have to put more effort into these? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, at least in my summer car, I kind of just record myself playing the game. And the only effort I have to put in is just the editing, so. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, really. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, that's pretty much it. Till next time, have a good one, everybody.